Nick Diner didn't expect to focus his entire career on water. When the former senior vice president of sales and marketing at Nano H2O, acquired by LG, was looking to join another startup, he met a company called Molaire. At first, the startup's use of nanobubble tech to improve aeration seemed boring to him. But as Diner kept chatting with co-founder Bruce Scholten, who invented its patented nanobubble pump, the proverbial light bulb went off. It has nothing to do with aeration, Diner says of the Eureka moment to Forbes. Instead, Diner saw a world of research on how bubbles could improve animal and plant health, enhance water treatment and mining processes, all in a more sustainable, responsible way. After investing personally in Molaire in January 2017, Diner joined a few months later as CEO. The company launched its first product that June, a pump system that uses nanobubbles to improve the treatment of wastewater. Since then, it's expanded into other sectors like agriculture, aquaculture and oil and gas. The startup has installed more than 1,000 systems globally and is treating more than 225 million gallons of water a day, Diner says. Now it's raised a Series B to keep up with demand and expand. Carson, Califf, based Molaire raised $9 million in a Series B round led by food and agriculture-focused firm S2G Ventures, out of that firm's new Oceans and Seafood Fund. Existing investors Seabus Enterprise Fund, part of ADM Capital, and Energy Innovation Capital participated, as originally reported in the Midas Touch newsletter. Diner says Molaire was thrilled to bring in S2G Ventures as it looks to expand into sustainable seafood farming and ocean restoration. Larson Metteler, a managing director at the fund, says he was aware of Molaire prior to considering investing because many of S2G's portfolio companies already used its tech. S2G's fund is focused on making the food supply chain more sustainable, Metteler says, which made Molaire a natural fit. The high-level explanation of the startup's nanobubble strategy is that it deploys systems that help pump small air bubbles into water, molaire means tiny air in Latin, to make water more aerated, and therefore more effective for various applications. The size of the bubbles makes all the difference, Diner says. Larger bubbles rise to the surface of a liquid immediately, popping before the oxygen in them can make a difference in chemical makeup. Nanobubbles, which are about 1 2,500th of the size of a grain of salt, act more like gas particles, which keeps them suspended in the liquid far longer, giving them more time to make an impact. More oxygenated water is more powerful, too. In plant irrigation, more aerated water can prevent waterborne illnesses to crops and create better nutrient conversion, Diner says, giving farmers the opportunity to grow more robust plants at a higher yield, while using the same volume of water overall.